Getting all the challenges for the launchers done isn't as difficult as it is time consuming, but that doesn't take away from how frustrating these are to get done. Because of this, timestamps will be in the description below if you're looking for specific tips. The launchers are what I like to call a slow burn grind because it's almost impossible to solely grind these out. So when you're doing these challenges for the launchers, you're going to want to follow these tips for getting them done as efficiently as possible. You're going to want to start these challenges as soon as possible and have a primary weapon to work on while going for launcher challenges to keep your sanity and try to salvage your KD. Also a quick PSA, all the launchers only have you start with 2 rockets per life. To get more, you can equip a munitions box as your field upgrade that'll give you an extra rocket per life. A strategy I used when I was out of rockets was just to off myself so I could respawn with more ammo, but if you're crazy about your KD, this probably won't be the best method for you. Perks are also something to look at closely, so here's a few that can help specifically with the launchers. For the first perk category, we're going to be looking at EOD and Cold Blooded. EOD will keep you alive longer when going for close range kills with any launcher. And Cold Blooded will help you avoid getting killed by AI controlled killstreaks like a VTOL, and will make you less visible when on thermal sight. For the second perk, the only real option here is Ghost, keeping you invisible to UAVs, radar drones, and heartbeat sensors. For the third perk category, we have a few options to go through here. Tune up is good if you find yourself running out of rockets quickly because it reduces the charge time for the munition box and field upgrades by 40%. Shrapnel is good if you're going for kills because it delays enemy health regeneration when they are damaged by explosives, like rockets. Spotter is good if you have a hard time remembering to shoot down killstreaks in games, and it also makes taking them down a lot easier because of the increased visibility. My go-to perk for these is Amped. It's made almost specifically for the launchers by significantly increasing weapon switch speed for those close calls and clutch situations actually making the launchers viable. Plus, it increases the reload speed of all launchers which are the second slowest reload time in the game behind LMGs. The equipment I found most useful for this challenge is the Thermite and the Stun Grenade. The Stun Grenade is to slow enemies and keep them in place in order to kill them with the launcher. The Thermite's most useful for killing yourself and respawning with more rockets. Hardcore and objective based matchmaking modes are going to be your bread and butter for racking up kills. However, I usually recommend that you try to play on smaller maps, but the size of the map doesn't matter for the launchers because there are usually safer areas for taking down killstreaks. For example, you can get a lot of kills on shipment with the launcher, but it'll be a lot harder to shoot down a killstreak on the same map. So try to work on challenges based on the strengths of the map. Also, there are four launchers in total that all work differently and require different playstyles. The Pila can lock on and free fire giving it the middle ground on getting kills and shooting down killstreaks effectively, with a decent splash damage range to take out groups. Rockets also fire very fast. The Strela P has no lock on features but requires little to no lead when shooting it because it fires rockets at the fastest rate of any of the launchers. The downside to this is that there's very little splash damage range and requires you to hit your target almost dead on. The Joker requires a long lock on time as well as launching period so to hit anything, shoot it at objectives, common spots the enemy is at, or just random ass spots on the map because that works way better than it should. Also it has a large splash damage range. The RPG is the most well known launcher in this group and is the best for going for kills. It can be shot anywhere near an enemy and almost always get the kill. The RPG doesn't have a lock on feature like some of the other launchers but it makes up for it in its ability to kill effectively. Also, one very outrageous tip I've seen work is if you're using a launcher without a lock-on feature, just ask the enemy team if they can use a personal radar or a counter UAV because they're the easiest to take down without lock-on. You'll be surprised how well it works. Hey, can someone throw on personal radar? Fuck you! Shut the fuck up! For spray paint, you're gonna need to kill 125 enemies. This is very easy, just blow some people up. This is a lot easier on smaller maps, so try to aim for those if there's a playlist for them, but for some reason they like to take the fun playlist out, so just keep an eye out. Difficulty? Stupid easy. For Woodland, you're gonna need to earn 40 attacker awards with launcher kills. To earn attacker awards, simply kill an enemy on an objective, like a flag in domination, or a headquarters, or a hard point. So it's required that you play an objective based mode for this challenge. Difficulty? Pretty chill. For Digital, you're gonna need to earn 40 defender awards with launcher kills. The same thing applies from Woodland, but the rules are reversed. You need to get kills while on these objectives. Difficulty? Also pretty chill. For Dragon, you're gonna need to destroy 75 aerial killstreaks. Pretty straightforward, just shoot down those killstreaks that your team won't stop bitching about. All aerial killstreaks include Personal Radar, which is a one-shot kill, Counter UAV, which is also a one-shot, UAV, one-shot, VTOL, three-shot, but it will deploy flares making your first shot miss if you're using a lock-on launcher. Same with the Chopper Gunner, and Support Helo. The gunship can't be hit, so don't waste your rockets on it. Method I use for getting kills done faster is to play with a buddy and have them unload a clip into the larger kill streaks to take them down quicker. Difficulty? Not too bad. The splinter camo requires you to kill 75 ground based vehicles or kill streaks. Same thing as dragon, just on the ground. All ground kill streaks consist of shield turret, which is a one shot, infantry assault vehicle, which is a three, sentry gun, which is one, 
and a wheel sim, which is two rockets. Also, personal radar, counter UAV, and VTOL count as ground streaks now. A piece of equipment that is useful for this challenge would be the thermite grenade. Throw it on whatever you're trying to take down, and then quickly rocket it after, otherwise you won't get credit if the thermite takes it out. Difficulty? Longer than the Wolf of Wall Street to do. For Topo, you're going to destroy 50 equipment, kill streaks, or vehicles. Throw on spotter for this one to make it easier, but just continue destroying everything the enemy puts down. Difficulty? Rocket go boom. The Tiger camera requires you to destroy 50 support kill streaks. All support kill streaks include the UAV, counter UAV, and personal radar. With non locking launchers such as the RPG and the Strala P, you can only take down the counter UAV and personal radar. Difficulty? Trash man. For stripes, you need to destroy 50 kill streaks. For some reason, this camera won't always count unless you're using cold blooded. Difficulty? Repetitive. For reptile, you need to get 50 kills while using the amped perk. Really simple, just get kills with the amp perk equipped. It'll allow you to switch and reload your launchers a lot faster. Difficulty? No effort. You know I do this shit with no effort. For skulls, you're gonna need to destroy 50 vehicles. This one can be frustrating in normal multiplayer, so what I did is I went into ground war and blew up every vehicle I saw. All that matters for this is that you don't blow up vehicles in your spawn and you don't blow up teammates vehicles, otherwise they won't count. Difficulty? Tedious as hell. That's all the tips I have for completing the launcher challenges. If any of this helped you, leave a like. If not, dislike. Also, if you're not subscribed, I put out videos a few times a week, so you should check those out. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, put all the homies hate launchers in the comments below. Peace.